Universities have recently been faced with tremendous amount of disruption. In what used to be a fairly protected sector, they've had to deal with the introduction of student tuition fees, they have had to deal with competition from online learning platforms, and this has all required universities to really be more service oriented. We have identified three main waves in this digital innovation and disruption cycle. In the first wave, the focus is purely on digital infrastructure and its development. Now, in a university, in the teaching environment, what that looked like is there was a fundamental move from using paper-based ways of working to a more digital-based system. The first wave came with its own challenges, and there were two big ones, really. The first one was getting the right information at the right time. Now, to get the right information, you need to have good master data management. And that's really difficult to do when you have legacy systems, perhaps multiple sources of data. There's been a push for universities to get real-time data. So they have that single source of truth, which is really important when, as an institution, you're trying to make good decisions. In the second phase, there was mainly disruption from end users and it created a whole host of innovation. The adoption of technologies like cloud computing and tools like mobile devices, like laptops and phones in the classroom environment changed teaching for students. Furthermore, in research, with the adoption of low-cost technology, researchers suddenly had access to, to the public that they could engage in and produce better quality research completely changed the way teaching functioned. The second wave came with its own set of challenges. With the adoption of new technology, seen the rise of new competitors. One example is massive open online courses, or MOOCs. They, they challenged the, the normal university brick and mortar concept of, of teaching and learning. With the speed and complexity of change, university departments now had to increasingly work together. The rise of piecemeal systems across universities meant that there was an inconsistent user experience even within a university, and that's never a good thing. Now, so what? The so what is at the end of your course is something called the National Student Survey, the NSS, which is basically a, a satisfaction survey for students, and league tables use this results. So universities really want good results in, in the NSS because it contributes to the overall score. The third wave is where things get really exciting because this is where a university it integrates both its student data, its systems and its processes together to create the best possible student and staff journey. For us, it's all about the staff and the student experience. It's about how you can best use things like big data and artificial intelligence to target your student experience so you can ultimately give your students a positive graduate outcome, which is what all universities want effectively. In the face of all this digital disruption, I think it's really key to have your IT department on site because they have a massive role to play. Now, for a university to be a digital leader and really embrace all this change, they need the resources, they need the technology, they need the know-how which the IT department can support them with. They need structured innovation management to move away from the siloed pieces of work to a point where an entire university can actually benefit. So in the third wave, all these tools, the systems, the processes, are basically enablers. They are enablers to help universities understand their customers, which is staff and students. And through understanding their students in particular, can a university offer a targeted service, a better student experience. And what that does for students is there's a positive impact on academic performance, which re results in higher satisfaction scores. For universities to be relevant in this day and age, they have to keep their customer, which is their staff and the 
and their students at the heart of everything that they do. Having good systems and good processes and data and, and actually leveraging the value of all of this will really lay the foundation for a university to be the disruptor instead of having the disruption done to them.